What is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Kevin here coming at you from the Crazy iPod Reviewer YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Max Boost Duraslim case for the iPhone 6 and more specifically this is the rubberized black model. So without further ado let's take a closer look at the product. Alright so here is the case and I purchased this on Amazon.com for $12.99 with free one day Amazon Prime shipping. So that's really a nice feature there, I was able to get the case in a very short amount of time. Now I don't actually have an iPhone 6, I have an iPhone 6 Plus, but I still wanted to purchase this case and make a video about it just so that anyone who's interested in purchasing this case would be able to get a closer look, you know, a look that is beyond just the press images. I'm um, really going to dive in deep in this video and show you the quality of the case so that there's really no surprises once you order it. So from a brand level, I'm not entirely that familiar with Max Boost. This is one of the first Max Boost cases that I've ever gotten. I'm normally used to doing reviews of Incipio, Otterbox, uh, you know, higher end brands of that nature, but my first impressions really show that it is a nice unit. Now on the back here, it's pretty plain and it really does kind of remind me of what you'd find with an Incipio case. So we basically have this nice kind of smooth, kind of a glazed over, I call it a frosty look. So it's like a frosty black just because pretty much it feels the way it looks, it, it feels soft. Now in the corner here we do have the Max Boost logo and then we have the cutout here for the camera. Now flipping over to the inside of the case, you can see here we do have the Max Boost logo. Now that logo will be covered by the phone when the phone is in the case, so I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Now this case really isn't multi-layer. A traditional multi-layer case would have pure rubber guarding the phone and then outside would be this typical shell here. But really there's just this little layer that comes out. So once that's out, you just have one piece. And the one piece even has a nice little layer inside, but it is connected, so it's not really a true multi-layer case. But focusing in on here, you can see that there's like this second little slab here that's glued in, and it's totally fixed and connected, so that's not going anywhere. But that does add a softer material that will rub against your phone, so you don't have to worry about your phone getting any sort of permanent scuff marks or anything of that nature by using this case. Now we do have the inside shell, not really a shell, it's more of a ring. Now I don't see this very often on that many cases, but it does feel like a good quality piece. Usually when there's flimsy pieces like this, I'm always worried that they might break or snap or something because they're made out of flimsy cheap plastic, but this is more of a rubberish material. Now it's it's flexible. Now when I see I want to do this, like there's no chance in it really breaking. It really takes some nice wear and tear for this to actually break. And of course, once it breaks, the case would basically be useless. So it's a good thing that it's not about to break. To install this case onto your iPhone 6, all you'd have to do is take this ring and put it around the case, which is really easy because this ring is flexible. So you can just pull it out and just slide the phone right in. And then once the phone is in this piece, you literally just drop it right into the main plate here, the main back plate, and then you're good to go. Now that's one really important thing that I know with cases that I use on a daily basis. I always like having cases that are easy to take on and off and this case would definitely follow that. Now on the bottom here we do have fairly easy access to all the ports. We have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port here and it seems like it has a nice opening to it. Sometimes that's an issue that people have because they can't plug in their various audio jack accessories because they're too large but there's really a thin piece of plastic in between this and where the phone would be so it would be very easy to plug in any peripherals that you would have and then of course there's ample room for the lightning, da uh, lightning connector and then on the side here we do have a little opening for the speaker which is useful so sound can escape this is also nice too because if you lay the phone kind of vertical you don't have to worry about blocking the speakers because all of the audio will come out on the side instead of the bottom. So that's always something that kind of bugged me about the iPhone 6. Now another really important thing about having an iPhone case is having a nice button construction. And it looks like the buttons are very high quality here and easy to press. The buttons have a rubber material. It's not totally hard plastic. So that is definitely a bonus there because sometimes it's really annoying pressing on hard, cheap plastic. 
Same goes for the power button on the side here, so it's easy to press in. Of course, there's no phone in here, but with the phone in, I can, I can just tell that these buttons would have a nice responsiveness. So this really sums up my personal analysis and, I guess, review of this iPhone 6 case from MaxBoost. Now, if you want to find this on Amazon, I will be linking it in the description. And my final verdict is that I would recommend this for your iPhone. It seems like a good case out of the other cases that I've looked at in the past. It's not quite up there in quality compared to OtterBox or Incipio. However, it's not really cheap either. It feels like something that's worth $12.99. So if you want to spend a little more, $20 or so, and buy something a little nicer like an OtterBox, that's definitely good too. But if you want to just get a case that works and protect, uh, protects your phone, buying this case from Max Boost wouldn't be a bad choice either. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, make sure to leave a comment, and if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. And finally, if you're a company and you're interested in sending me out a product to review, please make sure to send me an email at my email address, which is crazyipodreviewer at aol.com. Once again, thank you very much everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.